In this video, I will teach you how to pronounce British brands correctly. So don't go away. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. In today's video, I'm going to explain how sounds are assimilated in British brand names. So let's look at the first brand now. How do you think we pronounce the name of this British chocolate manufacturer? If you said Cadbury with a D sound, you're wrong. That's because when the D sound is followed by a B sound, it changes to a B sound. So it's pronounced Cadbury with a B instead. This process is known as assimilation and although it's difficult to hear, it makes pronunciation easier. Assimilation also occurs across word boundaries. So the British clothes manufacturer Ted Baker is actually pronounced Ted Baker. In fact, assimilation is so consistent, it's effectively a rule. Whenever an alveolar plosive or nasal is followed by a bilabial sound, it's replaced by a bilabial sound. So, d is replaced by b, t is replaced by p, and n is replaced by m when they're followed by b, p, or m. Other brands which are assimilated include the hotel company Whitbread, which is actually pronounced Whitbread. The sports car manufacturer Aston Martin is actually pronounced Aston Martin. And the clothes manufacturer Fred Perry is actually pronounced Fred Perry. Let's look at another example. The BBC is arguably one of the most famous British brands and it stands for British Broadcasting Corporation. But how do you think we pronounce the word broadcasting? If you said broadcasting with a D sound, you're wrong. When the D sound is followed by a K sound, it's replaced with a G sound. So it's pronounced broadcasting. This is another example of assimilation, but in this case, the alveolar sounds are replaced by velar sounds because they're followed by velar sounds. So D is replaced by G, T is replaced by K, and N is replaced by N when followed by the K or G sounds. Other examples include the British coffee brand Kenko, which is actually pronounced Kenko, and the British chocolate bar Kit Kat, which is actually pronounced Kit Kat. Finally, take a look at these British motorcycle brands. How do you think we pronounce them? If you pronounce the M mm sound in Triumph and the M mm sound in Royal Enfield, you're wrong. That's because when these sounds are followed by the F sound, they're dentalized. This is a type of assimilation which means the air is blocked between the top teeth and the bottom lip. So these brands are actually pronounced Triumph and Royal Enfield. Well, that's the end of the lesson. But what's your favorite British brand? Let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.